Haley Lee is a true Arizona treasure. She was born in Tucson, Arizona in 1919. Her amazing career as an actress, recording artist, author, musician, songwriter, performer, filmmaker, and environmental activist has made her a legend in the fabric of Arizona history. Her main passion lies in her early love for the natural beauty of the Grand Canyon area of Arizona. She did river runs down the Colorado and fell in love with the sensual splendor of the Grand Canyon. I like the Grand Canyon. I mean, that was my indoctrination. I can remember when I first saw it. I had lived in Arizona all my life and I didn't even go near it till I was 16 years old. And I remember walking up to the rim and looking over it and just started to cry. Poo! <laughs> I can, you can see it right now, excuse me. <laughs> and then when I got on the river itself, then it, it's, then seeing it from the bottom up, that just, it sort of made me part of this state. Here I am, this is the real Arizona. Her protest against the flooding of that area to create the Glen Canyon Dam has led to a lifelong quest to preserve the natural beauty of Arizona. Katie began her professional career in 1948 as a stage and screen actress. She performed in motion pictures, radio, and television in the early 50s. She left Hollywood to become a performing musician on the folk music circuit. She found a voice for her praise of the canyons and protest against the destruction of Arizona's beauty. And that is when I started doing something I had never even thought to do. I started writing protest songs. I realized that you could sing a song to a bunch of politicians and they would listen a lot more than they would when I was truly angry and just trying to tell everybody off. They would listen to the song because the songs would have some humor, the songs would have um, maybe a thought and an idea that had never crossed their mind because it had music behind it. It's really amazing what music can do. And I learned that this was how I was going to make my living, prove my point, ask people to listen to what was happening in the world and on the earth, and it's worked. Her close associations with people such as folk music icon Burl Ives, blues musician Josh White, and the great Harry Belafonte gave her a pedigree as a musician, singer, and songwriter that no one can dispute. Burl Ives was a dear friend, a mentor. Um, he taught me so many things. And he took, he took actually, he said, Katie, you gotta get out of here. He said, Hollywood's no place for you. You've gotta go on the road and deliver these songs. You've gotta sing about the river. And by that time, I had, I had had my greatest experience in life. I had run the Colorado River. That was in 1953 in July. And that changed my entire life. I could not wait to get out of Hollywood. I had wonderful mentors. I had Burl Ives. I had Josh White, one of the sweetest human beings in the world and one of the greatest guitar players that ever lived. Josh taught me blues. I even had Harry Belafonte. He, you know, he came to me for songs that he wanted, you know, sing. And uh, I came to him for Calypso. He taught me Calypso songs. And I spent a whole year doing practically nothing but Calypso. Her love of the historical, colorful, cowboy culture of Arizona has kept her involved in the music and poetry of the Wild West. Katie has no fear letting people know exactly what she thinks. Katie Lee is a powerful cornerstone in the history of Arizona. It would be well worth your time to look into finding her books, videos, and recordings so you can hear the wisdom of someone who stands her ground in a world that needs a voice like hers. I'd like to thank the people who helped me all the way along. You never do anything by yourself. It's one of those collective things that you, 
I mean, you can't be a human being standing alone on an iceberg and get anywhere except cold.